Ricky Smiley, I love you. But crying on the radio for Kamala Harris, my brother, that's an all-time low. Don't do that again, Ricky Smiley. Don't you get on your radio show and cry for Kamala. Don't you do that, my brother. Welcome back, Warriors. This is me, Linda B. Thank you all so much for joining me here today. Today, I've got some Dr. Umar Jackson. Woo! You have got to watch this one. And I mean, this is fire. Before we get into it, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Now, let's get into this. Dr. Umar, Umar is talking about Kamala Harris and something that those on the left are doing to get more support for Kamala Harris. Kathleen Kamala. Woo! Black vote ain't for sale no more. Black vote ain't for sale. We bartering on business. We standing on business. Bring us some tangibles or get out of my face. Ricky Smiley, I love you. But crying on the radio for Kamala Harris, my brother? That's an all-time low. Don't do that again, Ricky Smiley. Don't you get on your radio show and cry for Kamala. Don't you do that, my brother. If you want to cry for Kabama Harris, if you want to cry for Kabama Harris, you do that in the privacy of your house. But if we're going to be honest, Steve Harvey and Ricky Smiley, and I love you both, no hate to my big brothers, but if we're going to be honest, Ricky Smiley and Steve Harvey, y'all only carried on because y'all got paid to carry on. Can we please be honest? Can we see... I want y'all to understand, overstand, and understand what King Kong is talking about. Y'all carried on because y'all got paid to carry on. Kamala Harris and the Democratic Plantation is paying you celebrities, paying you Mm -hmm. to shame black people into voting. Y'all know we're not going to get nothing out of that vote. Y'all know we're not going to get nothing out of that vote. Y'all know y'all not, we not going to get nothing out of the vote, but they being paid, y'all being bought. They offered me 10K for an interview with Kamala Harris. I don't want your money, but we can definitely do the interview. They offered me 10K for an interview with Kamala Harris. Yes, we can do the interview. Keep your damn money. King Kong consciousness ain't for sale. I'm one of the real ones. Silverback Garvey Gorilla. I'm one of the real ones, silverback Garvey Gorilla. Don't come to me with no propositions for money. I don't live for no money. I'm not one of these goofy-ass rappers whose whole life is nothing but what you can buy and own. You're dealing with real African DNA. This is real ancestral energy over here. I'm not no Ricky Smiley and Steve Harvey. You don't drop no check off and say, get the Negroes to the plantation on November the 4th. You don't drop no check off and say, get the Negroes to the plantation. Woo. I was a little put back by that gorilla silverback comment. I was like, what does that mean exactly? But anyway, did he not keep it a hundred? Did he not keep it a hundred? Now, I don't agree with everything that Dr. Umar says most of the time. I not, Well, on this, I do. As far as the Democrat plantation, yes, I agree. Absolutely, yes. I agree with that part of what he's saying, which is why I played this video for you all. And I've done another video talking about Kamala Harris. See, the thing is, people want to do this identity politics thing. And the, the women, she's got a large female following. But the men aren't sold on it. So she's got a man problem. And some of the women are like, I'm not voting for her for what she did. We're not getting anything for that vote. Just like Dr. Umar was saying, you're not getting anything in return. It's a pandering and a fear mongering. And then when they get the vote, they do nothing. And why should they? Pandering has worked all this time. Fear mongering has worked all this time. It has worked. They have gotten what they wanted to keep power and you subjugated. They want to keep us subjugated. You do what I tell you to do. Now get your ass back on that plantation. That's what it is. How dare you? And the fact that they want to say black conservatives are sellouts. Please. He just told you right here, Dr. Umar said, you guys are getting paid to say what you say. You're getting paid. They are the sellouts. All these black celebrities that are out there now, hey, 
They know what they're doing. They know they are the sellouts. I'm not a sellout. The conservatives are typically not sellouts because we're no one's paying us big money to go up against our conscience. You know, if if you go up against your conscience, like if you feel something is wrong and that you probably shouldn't do it, but you do it anyway to get a lot of money, you do it anyway. That's being a sellout. That's selling your soul for something temporal. Okay, this is temporary down here, guys. We got to remember that. It's all be over soon and we'll be home with the Lord. We got to focus on the eternal. Always focus on the eternal. Okay, just just kind of fight through it. Just <laughs> it's going to be hard, but fight through it prayerfully and get your support, your support team in place. The people that got you back, that keep you encouraged, that say you can do it, you can go, you can go. Get those in your corner and keep those those people surrounding you because this is a war between good and evil, okay? And I know Donald Trump has faults, but God is using him to get something done. And Satan is using the other side to get something done. And I'm, it's not even about Democrat or Republican at this point. This is a battle between good and and evil. We got to realize which one is God using and which one is the devil using. And that's something that will take discernment, prayer. It just takes um, maybe just common sense, but we just got to focus on the facts. People are getting paid and you heard him say they were going to pay him 10K. Yeah. People are being offered money because they don't have any real policies to offer. And all she can do is all Kaplan Kamala can do is just really repeat what Donald Trump said. She's the reason why there's tax on tips. Like, what the hell are you talking about? Woman, are you crazy? She. <laughs> mm. Okay. So we know what we got to do. And also, you know, you vote early if you can't. Just vote. Get out there and vote. You all be blessed. Love God, your families, these United States of America. And as I always say, march on, warriors.